Imagine you have a couple of input elements. For example, in my case, I have three different input boxes of type text. When the test loads, one of the input boxes already has a value fox. And another input box, that's where the test types fox. Let me show this. I reload the test and notice how in this box we typed fox. Now, what if I want to find all input elements with value fox? I can say, okay, get me, oops, right, because all our inputs are inside the div inputs. So give me all input elements oof, um, with a value of fox, and I can quote it if necessary. How many elements do you think I'll find? Well, it shows just a single element. Only the element with HTML attribute value declared at the start is found, right? It doesn't see the input where we typed, where the current value is found. So how do we find input elements with the current value? So here's what I will do. Find all the possible input elements. In this case, I'll get inside an element with ID inputs, all the input elements, and then apply filter. And the filter can take callback, first argument is the index, and then the HTML element. And all you have to do, return true, if the element is what you're looking for. So return L value equals fox, so we write our own predicate. So in this case, notice that we start with three elements and then the filter eliminates one of them. Only the element of the current value is equal to fox remain. So we can confirm it. Perfect. So we found all elements, filter them, and confirm the number that we have found. That's the correct number.